Hi everyone, my name is Felicia and this is day one of the Culinary Crusades. So I pretty much knew going into this that I did not have the patience for baking, but after cooking these macaroons, I realized that that is true. I don't have the patience for baking. I wanted to do something Christmas themed because Christmas is coming up. Um, so I picked macarons. That's actually how they're pronounced, macarons, not macaroons. I learned that the two are very different things. Macaroons are this coconut-based biscuit. Macarons are those French sandwich cookies with ganache in the middle. I made the French sandwich cookies with ganache in the middle. So I immediately realized that my patience was not gonna last with this recipe from the second I started. Uh, I looked at the recipe and the first thing on there was egg whites at room temperature and in parentheses and all capitals, they must be at room temperature. My eggs were still in the fridge. So I had to sit and wait a couple hours until they came down to room temperature. So my patience was like already shot. Then I started making it and it was going really, really well. I added all the ingredients in, it was beating some egg whites, uh, adding in some sugar and a couple other things. Um, I'll have the recipe linked below. Um, and I added some food coloring so they'd be green and like super festive. I remember my second test of patience was the sifting. So this recipe calls for almond flour, and I don't know if you've ever dealt with almond flour, but it's very moist and thick, and it's not easy to sift. So I was there sifting, giving my arms a workout for a couple solid minutes before I got everything through. Then I had to add the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients and start folding it in. And this recipe said to do it 65 to 75 times, and that under stirring will cause the bit cookie this recipe called for it to do it 65 to 75 times and under stirring will cause the cookies to crack but over stirring, no, no, no. Under stirring will cause them to be lumpy and over stirring will cause them to crack. So there's this really fine sweet spot which is the reason I don't like baking because there's no room to fudge and I like fudging all the time. So. I did it about 50 times and the recipe said to just do it until you didn't see any more powder and everything was incorporated. So I did it 60 times. So it was like a little bit under what it did. And I realized that the batter seemed a little bit thick for how macarons should be. And the videos that I saw, it just seemed too thick, but I was like, I'm just gonna go with it. So I piped them all out. I gave them a couple taps to get out the air bubbles. And then you're supposed to let them sit for 20 minutes to up to an hour. I didn't set a timer, so I don't know exactly how long I let them sit out for. I would say it's between 20 and 30 minutes. And then I put them in the oven and then disaster struck uh, because it started to spread. And they did not look like macarons at all. They looked like scary gingerbread cookies that got sick because they were like this gross green color. But I went with it. Cooked them for 20 minutes at 350 degrees, or 300 degrees Fahrenheit and then took them out and let them cool down and then I made the ganache. And the ganache is pretty simple. It was just white chocolate chips. You boil heavy cream with some vanilla extract and then you pour that hot heavy cream over the chocolate chips. And it melts and then you're supposed to let it harden a little bit and then you're supposed to pipe it onto the cookies. Another test of my patience was letting it sit till it was thick enough that it could be piped out and not spread but not too thick that made it really hard to work with. So they said put it in the fridge and wait until it gets hard enough but make sure you watch it because it will quickly harden. So I did that and then I took it out and I thought it was good but I put it into a bag and I started squeezing it and it was so hard that the bag's plastic edges started to break and it was coming out everywhere. So I took some scotch tape, taped up the hole and then threw it in the microwave, and then I microwaved it for too long so it was really wet again, so then I had to start over from step one. It got hard enough, I piped it in, the cookies came out, um, and then we tried them, and they were actually really good. They were like super airy, um, like real crisp texture to them because they spread out so much. 
um, but they had a really nice flavor. You could definitely taste the ginger. They were really delicious, but they looked really ugly. So I tried a take two, and this is what they ended up looking like. So at the end of the day, I think I discover that I am not a baker, but I will be trying it again. I just can't stand how exact of a science baking is because I don't like measuring because measuring means you dirty more dishes, dirtying more dishes means you have to do more dishes, and I don't like to do dishes. So I just like to throw stuff into a bowl and hope it turns out good and taste it as I go along. So macaron making is not, not easy and I don't know if it's for me, but I'll keep baking and uh, see where it goes. So that was day one of the Culinary Crusades. Check back in a few days for day two of the Culinary Crusades.